Well, welcome to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. This is the wrap up party. Good time of year because I'm sure just like most of you, I've been snowed in for at least a week or two here. Haven't done any digging, not too much in 2024. We'll get underway very soon, but this week we're gonna invite the guys over as soon as they get here at least, lay everything out on the table, or this year we're gonna use the kitchen island, go over all of the things that we have from 2023. So as soon as the guys get here, we'll get underway. Well, we have a few finds laid out here and we have a few people we haven't seen in a long time. Billy, Leo, Brad is I'm going looking at jewelry. <laughs> Brad is looking through jewelry and he just figured out that I actually found gold last year, which I didn't think I did. You're welcome. But speaking of gold, how's it going, Billy? Am I a nugget? I mean I'm brown like a nugget. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bob wanted to be here, but he is apparently sick in bed. Is that the redneck Bob mating call? It is. I'm looking for a date. A um, couple of these guys, we're not even in a video this year. There's good reasons for that, but I wasn't going to jump on a video and say why. But Billy can obviously say why he hasn't been out this year. It was in a work accident, guys. Pretty serious. A couple surgeries. Um, still fighting with it, dealing with it. I'll... Uh, We'll let you guys know more later. Yeah, you don't need to get into the details, um, but he was in an accident, an auto accident, and he's going through some stuff, and he can't really get around as well as he used to. He's working on all those things. Leo, he don't have any excuses. <laughs> just life. Life got in the way. Life That's got it. in the way. <laughs> just giving him a hard time. I just don't have any excuses. Brad's a busy boy, and apparently now he's gimpy. 14 karat. Brad, yeah, I found more gold. This is gold. Yes. 14 karat. This That's is 14 cool. karat. This is 10 karat. This wow. Is what? I've gone metal detecting because I've been too busy live so, streaming. Plug. Plug. <laughs> yeah, pl it, plug it, your live stream. What, what? But you want it? I'm on I'm on an app called Whatnot. It's an auction app. I do like five to six live streams a week and I sell jewelry, coins, sports cards, and it's a lot of fun. Stuff like this. Um, and it's my full-time job now, and it's crazy. A lot of dollar yeah. starts. Whatnot and your, your it's handle? Whatnot. My handle is 342, all spilled out. 342 yeah so i found these two bags of potentially junk jewelry at a dump and i haven't gone through it and brad's here picking through a bunch of golden stuff for me that i apparently found this year but now with my metal detector turquoise sterling silver this ring's worth about 50 bucks nice obviously mark is here because uh the table would be half as full <laughs> if he wasn't here and um, the guys who didn't actually get out to dig this year, I had them bring some of their favorite finds ever. So we can go over that stuff right now. I'm about to burp. All right, we're good. You sure? We're good. All right. I'm going to ready. Um, I'm rolling, buddy. So. so, unfortunately, after the accident, the only action I got fond of things was Coinstar. Ain't that wrong with some Coinstar Silver? Like the best like time I went. I was on that little scooter <laughs> in the store because I couldn't walk. And I was like, man, there's a Coinstar. Lo and behold, it was over there. I was like, whoop, back up, beep, beep, <laughs> scoop, put it right in the pocket. Nice. Billy, what was it? What? Beep, beep, no, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, so was this all in one haul? Yes, this is all. The only time I found all year, I swear. I was checking Coinstar religiously at my food line. The only time. What, what's going on with this, this jingle jangle around your neck there? I want to get to that the last. Okay. Special. All right. So uh, you brought. So back before the Hoover Boy time with me, oh, me and Leo just got together and I dug that with. We were at the same place. It was at one of our little spots. Mm -hmm. You dug a piece that was broke. That's the actual one that, that was whole. It's and it goes to a. Dolphin kissing key? It's like a 19. It's a 19. I uh, forget. Teens. 19 teens uh, Thomas Edison phonograph. Nice. So that was amazing. That right. was obviously my favorite coin. Yep. I forget which episode it was in exactly. But Great place. Yep. He found that in one of the very early episodes. Mm -hmm. Nice centennial City Liberty section. quarter. Yep. Um, and then my favorite bottle. My favorite yep. blue ribbon. I wasn't there with him, but he sent me a video as soon as that thing popped up, freaking out. Old PBR bottle, a VR bottle, very rare. It's you said you wanted to talk minutes. about this as well. So, this here, Matt Hal. You got that? And <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. I forget the, uh, our friend's name that made this. Well, that had it commissioned. 
And I, he was posting them. I forget what the reason was. They was auctioning them off for some kind of, I, it was either charity or something. And I was like, that's pretty cool. You know, I said, kind of sucked with everything I'm going through. I was going to try to bid on it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get near it. And Matt hit me up and was like, hey, bro, because I was trying to help out with your website, you know, with the uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like straight hitting people up on Facebook. I'll have some all these cool questions. And then Matt's like, hey, check your mail. You got a package coming. And I'm like, okay, not thinking of it. And lo and behold, this is what I got. And this is one off. He said they're handmade. They were commissioned to, you know, uh, basically be close to a mallet bottle or an onion bottle, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. But they only made a select few. And so I'll, it's I'll, more I'll, more modern blown ga glass, glass look like the yeah. old stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, just yeah. to make it look like it's a lot stronger. Half no, it's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I'm going to put that back. Yeah, I'll put it back. And um, I'll see if Kurt will put the, the other people's information would help me with it. But All right. And yes, sir. We're down to the last piece, aren't we? Oh, yeah. This thing. Let me, let me get up on it. So, I lied. It is little crotal balls on there. Oh, jingle jangles all day long, bro. <laughs> Looks like a cat toy. Yeah, I lied because... <laughs> The coin store wasn't the only digging I did. I was at Brad's house doing a stream, and I just started digging through everything, and I found it. So I figured finders, keepers, loser, weeper, and I walked away with it. <laughs> you just stole it from you him? Know? And ever since then, you know, Brad's just... Such a low fee. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it and thought, man, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> you know? Well, awesome. Thank you for sharing I love yeah. you, Bill. your goodies with us. All those matter. It all holds matter. We'll get to that at the end. We got a long ways to go. All right. We got some food. Let's have it. All right. Next is Leo. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. hey. So, you brought a few things from yeah. your favorite finds. Uh, four of them are finds, and one of them is just a yard sale find. So, yeah. All right. Yard sale find. It's this. It's a Harper's Ferry, 1847. That's awesome. You get the yeah. little U.S. Eagle on there. Yep. It's pretty moves. sweet. Everything actuates. Very nice. This one you actually found in the water. Yeah. A little 22 pea shooter. Mm-hmm. It's a 19 or 1870s Colt. Yep. It's a revolver. It shot uh, a six shot 22. Yep. Okay. And this is beautiful. Yeah, that's the uh, Daughters of the Confederacy. That was, that was pre-episodes on YouTube. Yeah, it was given to the uh, Daughters of uh, Confederate Soldiers. And even on the back, it just it's the Southern Cross of Honor. That's it has the, beautiful. Yeah, it was found about ten inches down under a flat rock, but it's not uh, assigned to anybody. That's interesting. So, yeah, which was weird because usually they had inscription. You got a big hunk of silver there. What what, what that? Yeah, that's uh, I actually found that in my yard. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the back or front of a pocket watch, and Bill actually found the other half, but. Oh, you got friendship pocket watch pieces? Yeah. yeah you like, didn't bring yours, so you didn't much he's much of not, a he's friend. Not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, was a friendship. Probably, but, is this your favorite find ever? Yeah, that's the rarest find, I would say. Yeah. Ever, but it, yeah, it's one of my favorite. 1894 Baltimore Champions, little lapel, pin, silver. Absolutely phenomenal. Was, that was in one of the episodes. Yeah. It was a Spanish colonial. Yep. That was it. Yep. At the 15 minute mark, I believe. <laughs> And, and then Brad's friend. That's Brad's friend? Screw yeah, him. Brad loves him. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll... We, oh, we haven't washed that hair in a while. Well, welcome outside of your basement. I know you've been down there working hard. <laughs> um, Brad actually did come digging with us a handful of times. Most of the times he was either giving his stuff to the homeowner or it's lost somewhere in his truck. And we got a dig coming up. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're going to go beat up that spot. Okay, we're going to do some stuff, but he brought some of his favorite finds. I'm going to let him go over them. I would love to talk about this stuff. I'm such a coin guy. I just, I'm, I'm a terrible history buff, but coins <laughs> are just like, give me the coins. What do you got down here? Yeah, I found that up at Boone a long time ago. Remember yeah. that? New England? Absolutely. I remember that thing flipped out. That was great. That didn't make a THB video, actually. Remember that day? I do. Stuff I do. I found like a ton of beautiful coppers and pulled out of two reals. What a day that was. Let's go up here. There's a big freaking French thing. Is that Yeah, that was up with our, that was great. our friend John. It's a big freaking French thing. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was a crazy episode. So I that was like that. one of like 10 silvers, 12 silvers that came out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was like 
That wasn't even a jinx, though. It should have been. Look at the details. That was the that. very first hole in one of our videos. I was getting to know the AT Max. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was great. I'm like, it's a, it's a memorial. It's not exactly like a memorial. There's some clad, big clad right there. Huge yeah. eight reals. The only full one that we found. <laughs> that came out of the river a couple summers ago. Mm, that's a pretty ring. That is a pretty ring. That's actually my favorite find. Uh, people ask me a lot. It's like, I don't know what my favorite find is, but I didn't even find it. My favorite find was not found by me. So I found that. Yeah, Curtis found that ring. I had it resized, though, so it's been on my finger longer than yours. 18K in platinum? Yeah, it's my wedding and band. And it's Brad's wedding band, Yep. which is awesome. You found a gold coin? Some big old... Yeah, I found a... Oh! Oh, there's more? Oh, my gosh. You had the gold coin under the oh, gold... Oh, who broke that? Yep. Oh. There's Brad's two colonial gold coins. One, he put his hand digger directly through the middle of it and turned it into four pieces of gold coins. Anybody who denies that. Do you even say anything about the flowing hair? Do I we... mean, yeah, that's amazing. It's, I love it. Still uh, got the flowing hair I'm up never in gonna, I'm never going to fix it. No. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing finds. Thank you, dude. And thank you for continuing to find me more jewelry out of my jewelry bag. That's what I can do for you. No, no boost today either. Yeah. Bummer. Now is when my back's going to start really hurting. I'm going to go over the monstrosity of finds that Mark has brought home this season. I guess we can start with two huge pieces of bell. <laughs> One out of the what? Like, what the? Is that literally the Liberty Grass. Bell? Yeah, it might be. Did they break a chunk off of it? It was pretty easy to find, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go dive into this thing. Did you find a few buttons this year? Couple. This this thing's thick too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a piece of uh, cracker into the box. That should be all horse tack in that little bin. Yeah, you got a bunch of horse tack. These are all tokens. Tokens. Of, that's not a token. Mostly tokens. <laughs> tokens and things. And miscellaneous. I see some big crotal bells down there, there and all that good stuff. A whole bunch of little buckles. Yeah. And you got all your shoe buckle pieces in there too, and this is the few, neck buckle. Yeah, a few complete shoe buckles and the neck buckle. Yeah, that's good stuff. Where's your one thing over that sounded amazing? Is it this one? Oh, yep, that's the one. Oh, man. <laughs> I found one that day too, but it didn't sound like that. That did me good. You got some 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 lead balls and some yeah. thimbles. All my lead buttons are underneath the, the bells. Mm -hmm. they, they, they didn't belong in there, but those are all the lead pewter buttons. Mm. That old, old. Yeah. The good, good. I got a bunch of random stuff. These are Just, uh, <laughs> junk. Coppers, yeah. white, unidentifiable coppers. We got some of those nicer coppers over there we're going to go over, but let's get some of these some buttons, buttons in here. In there. That's amazing. Remember that one? I didn't get too many real nice uh, dandy buttons this year, like yeah. fancy ones. I got some dandies, but nothing real fancy. You got a few military buttons in here. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Is this all the Please small sense? Yeah. And, and uh, nickels there's as a, well? There's a couple nickels in I there. I see a flying eagle hanging out there. Probably. Some Indians. <laughs> probably a couple flying eagles in there. Yeah, probably. All right, let me put this stuff away and we'll continue. Yeah, there's definitely a lot in this one. Yeah. Kind <laughs> of big stuff. We'll, we'll take a peek at the things on top there. Obviously, a nice early stir up there. That's got to be silver plated. Yeah, it's silver plated. I wouldn't go in there. Nice kind of stoga bell in there. Yeah, this is probably my first complete one I've ever found. Oh, yeah, you, you you found some bells this year. I did. Some more randoms in there. A few. A few of the modern stuff and, you know, your cars and stuff. Some big junk. Let's go into the native stuff. You guys did a bunch of sifting without me. Oh, I did a little bit of sifting without you. Well, you know, not, you know, the days that I couldn't make it down, I yeah. did a bunch of sifting and the same, same sifting site. And as you can see... They did pretty well in the arrowheads. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And the fossils. This is the first time he ever found shark's teeth, and he found a bunch of them, including a nice, decent-sized one there. Some more of the broken pieces, but I want to find some like this that are complete, with right. beautiful ears and notches and right. base. They always seem to come up broken, but there's the native stuff. We're going to get into some of the nice coins and the precious stuff. Well. <laughs> I thought we were going to be serious. <laughs> Here's some of uh, Mark's nicer coppers of the year. We got some nice braided hairs up here, a little Civil War token, some half cents, drape bust, classic heads. We got the lib cap, some drape bust. He's got a whole mess load of matrons, 
including that one right there he pulled out of the water it's beautiful and it's counter stand with philly and it was shot by a bullet we do believe uh not sure on that one kg2s absolutely beautiful little farthing that came out of the water the water site some more colonials over here kg1 kg3s right there we got a few uh state coppers connecticut and ugh, he dug both of those right next to me different sites but woods hibernias they're probably both 1723 there's another hibernia i think that's a three a couple two centers and i guess we'll do the the cob the spanish cob that thing is really thin and worn out man is that ugly <laughs> it, it, it's beautiful when i turn it the right way yeah. but craziest coin he probably found 1793 half cent probably about as rare as you can get first year half cent absolutely beautiful coppers you always gotta make me look bad and dig all this shiny stuff <laughs> get into the precious stuff that is silver shoe buckle frame which that was complete a few other things bracelet he actually found metal detected some gold this year um it's got a few cufflinks little cuff buttons that are silver absolutely beautiful little silver pig got a couple gold rings a little 10k and 14k and that's a silver ring look at all these silver coins they're beautiful he actually put them in the order he dug them so we're going to go into the order i guess he started his year with a 44 washington 44 Cool Always fun to throw Chris in there. Then he went Spanish, Barber Quarter, you know, more modern stuff. We got a beautiful SLQ, Barber Quarter, more Spanish, a couple SLQs, a Warneck. Oh. <laughs> and another Warneck. More Washingtons. We got a Trime, another Barbie, Merc, more silver nickels. Yeah, some. A more modern. Yeah, I know you got some older stuff in there. It looks like a Spanish there. I mean, Barber Quarter, why do you think of so many silver quarters? I don't know. They sound good. <laughs> that's a little broken real there, but that's a counterfeit two reals. You can almost make out the shield there. He pulled that out of the water. I think it's awesome. Seated quarter, one of many. <laughs> <laughs> Barber, seated dime. Another seated quarter. That's a 77. A couple of those guys. Another seated dime. One real. Now we're getting into the good stuff. The uh, another seated dime, another one real. Oh, I wasn't there for that. It was a little foreign. What what country is that? Is that German? German or something similar. Another quarter size silver. Oh look, another seated quarter that came out of the water, and that almost looks like that, looks that like guy, that, yeah. but the different way. That's the uh, French French silver. The fish scales in there somewhere. Yeah, there. there's the fish scale. There's the little Canadian. Another one of those. That one's questionable. That one's questionable. Oh, half silver, half right? franc. Yeah. Doesn't look very silvery. That looks like you rubbed on that one. That was probably fun to rub on that. Yeah. Another Spanish. Another Spanish. Barbie. Merc. Another seated dime. Another Merc. Another SLQ. Another seated quarter. Let me shine some light on that. It's freaking AU. He dug that with uh, Gary one of the days I couldn't make it. And then he went that in his last over the year, last hunt of the year, he got himself another Spaniard. Yeah. So nice, beautiful little collection of silver coins and some jewelry. Congratulations on another awesome year. Right on. Now on to my stuff. You taking a nap? <laughs> no, just focus in here. Okay. <laughs> let's just go on for some of this stuff over here all right there's a plate of stuff that i didn't really uh haven't really put away yet and we got some native stuff and those are all mostly flakes and stuff this was not a dig that's i won when we did a dig with brad um the glass a little rumford got a coke bottle and mark and i found a little very early colonial bottle dumped together this is the most complete one here but the back was a little blown out and apparently there's an elf in there now um we have not been back to this site because we're saving it for billy once he gets back on his feet hopefully we'll bring billy there we can find some more of that stuff but i got a whole bunch of broken ones in the garage still in a box <laughs> thanks brad <What? laughs> that got me a stirrup brad just blew me a kiss 
Um, a few really nice, complete rat tail spoon bowls out of the water. Not spoon bowls. I'm so used to saying spoon bowls. Complete spoons, rat tail spoons. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, beer stein lid. Do uh, you think you find a lot of stuff from England? Some some pewter teacups. That one there is an actual drinking cup. And then we got a couple smaller ones that were probably kids' toys. And this thing I was told that was a uh, wax seal chess piece, apparently, from the people in the comments section. <coughs> Wasn't me. Um, speaking of a plate of just random stuff, this is more of the plate of random stuff I haven't put away from the river, kind of like that thing over there of dirt finds. Uh, we got some clad. We got a bag of Wheaties. Uh, I guess we'll get into this stuff. I don't want to knock over Billy's bottle, that's for sure. Thank you. <laughs> I got a holder. Um, let's see, we got a bunch of lead, my muskety balls, some native stuff up here, some broken arrowheads, may have been a fire starter stone, some native pottery, clay pipes, some of the more modern military buttons, and these are all my ball buttons, and my dandy buttons, I want to find some more fancy dandies, got a few out of the river, but they're all smooth, what is that, oh, I have no idea, okay, moving on. There's a bunch of river buttons and a uh, little tool for navigation and that thing. We've got the little tiny buttons. There's all my, my medium sized buttons. Tomback buttons, some glass and pottery. There's a cradle bell out of the water and some, some little pieces of things and brooches and suspender pieces. Junk over here, a few tags. Really? One of the cats over there playing with a fire truck. <laughs> yeah, what's Billy doing now? All right, I think that's good for that box. Thank you for holding that up. <laughs> uh, some of the other coins and relics and stuff. We got some some sash buckles down here. There's a rifle butt down there. Uh, some pieces of broken stuff. There's some saddle strap guides. Here's a bunch of the buckles. These are the older buckles, the shoe buckles, all that good stuff. Uh, junk rings. I did not find any precious rings. Got some nice crotal bells. Three completes. That one sounds funny. What does this one sound like? A little better. Try one more. Oh, that one sounds beautiful. I like that one the most. Uh, nice trigger guard. Pulled that out of the water. Nice early musket trigger guard there. Uh, coins, we got some Indians, those are the, the land Indians, we got some river Indians, uh, some nickels, see half cent, some river cops, these are all mostly my, my wasted coppers, are the ones that aren't too too pretty, I mean you got some IDs on all these here, those are all matrons and classic heads, not classic heads, uh, braided hairs, alright, close that for now. No, it wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. <laughs> so, I didn't find any gold with my metal detector, but like I said, this guy was rooting through some junk jewelry bags that I found at a dump, literally a trash dump. And I figured I'd give them to him since he can resell this stuff. Yeah. And he found some precious in there. Here it comes. Look at that. 14K. That's a lot of it, too. 21 and a half grams of 14K right there. That was somebody threw in the trash. Yeah. And these are 14K. They are. That's 10K. That's right. And we got some sterling over here. Beautiful turquoise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Oh, so like it, those are things that I'm, I'm not going to keep because they are meaningless to me because I didn't find them with my metal detector. They're going to go back into recycling for somebody else. Here's all my best finds of the day. Oh, you got to do it? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this is all randomly put in here. Let's do a... A little flyby before we try to get in here. Where can you play. even start? I don't know. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's I know where I'm going to end, like right in here. Yeah. All right, let's let's start over here. Uh, we got some modern silvers, token. Uh, that's silver. KG one. They get a half dollar. That's awesome. Police button. Copper that was shot through. Uh, there's some random. Uh, let's see the arrowheads. That's not a find. That's from Brad from We Dog, but I did find that one. That's probably my best arrowhead of the year. Any more arrowheads? No. And there's some fossils, the shark's teeth. Nothing too crazy for me. What are you looking for, bud? Oh, you getting up in there real deeply? Where all your silvers were. 
What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I got 10 Spaniards. What do you mean where are my silvers? That is a high tone honey badger talking right <laughs> Go back I, and take the low tone. I don't have the best lighting here. I'm going to have to use some sort of side light. All right. It's a nice button there. Did get a two center. I gave another one to a homeowner. Uh, some cool little pins up here. I like the little canoe pin I pulled out of the water. That's silver. <laughs> my silver strawberry. Here's another native, very crude native. That's my first arrowhead of the year. And a sportsman's button, a couple braided hairs, a couple KG3s. Some of my nicer Indians. Got a couple fatties there. One's hold. I don't like gilt on that button. Well, that one? That's pretty. That is pretty. It's gold gilted, you know, civilian. And we got some other coppers. We got the King Louis copper, the French one, and. That's a little KG2 farthing. We got the King Charles II farthing. That's 1670. It's another little hold farthing. There's some more silvers, Mock. I got three Washington quarters. <laughs> little tiny little knee buckle. Got some nice drape busts. Love me some drape busts and some of the nicer matrons. Some cool buttons. The octagon and the pie shaped button. Got some Mercs. Got another half cent there. Um, some buttons. We had the South Carolina State Seal Confederate button. That was nice to find with the tree. Yeah. The Amaretto tree and general service. Got a few nice little cuffs out of the water. One artillery. My first ever cash coin. Believe it or that, that's not a cob there. That is a large cent, one cent. That was your first? Yeah, my first cash coin. I never dug one. I've got like seven. Yeah, well, congratulations. Right. I got three seated dimes. Did get a barber quarter. That's a cool little button there. Couple more cool little buttons. Let's do some stuff over here. Some barber dimes. There's my taco copper. Another shark tooth. That fancy thing. Uh, some colonials. Those are Connecticut's there. Nice KG3. Some uh, nice KG2s. Some nice straight bus out the water. That yeah, cool little thing. Some weird silver pieces like that thing there and this thing here. And like I mentioned earlier, I got 10 Spaniards today, or this year today. <laughs> that would be a fun day. Uh, one of them's a one real, the rest are half reals. That's probably a broken one there. I got three trimes. One, my first river trime, three trimes this year. And uh, awesome little early patriotic button. The uh, anchor, that is Rev. That was very early in the, the season. Maybe a couple of Jettons up there. And cool little glass button. Let me see anything else besides the good stuff. 33rd Regiment of the Foot, I believe. I believe that was a French Rev War button. Uh, some of my favorite finds, obviously, the, the snake buckle. And I guess the favorite find of the year, well, Lord Baltimore, sixpence from 1659. <laughs> Cannot believe that happened. Oh, I got a silver button there. All right, my back is killing me. There's my uh, my fun treasure box of the year, my best stuff, and obviously a few very crazy finds there to really make it a heck of a year. Well, that's going to do it, at least for our finds from 2023 and some of these guys' most favorite finds. Apparently, Mark did not have a favorite find of 2023 because he still hasn't found his Spanish gold coin. I mean, I'm going to have to go with Lord Baltimore coin for me. Uh, any of you guys? No, that's right, you didn't dig. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Any goals for 2024? Big. I say it every year. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Yeah, we all want to see all you guys a lot more. I know life, you know, times are busy. You know, we all have families and works and responsibilities to do. This is a hobby. And, uh. UK, that's my goal. I'd like to get to the UK. UK? Yeah. That would be fun to do this year. Uh, I guess. I just want to do some water hunting. This mo well, we do plenty of that here yeah. shortly. Heard well, not before. shortly, yeah, but <laughs> in a few months. <laughs> it is one of our favorite seasons for sure. Uh, I forget what I was going to say. I guess we're just going to say thank you guys for watching. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why, Billy? Because all holes matter. You can say it louder than that. Because all holes matter. I don't that Still loud. didn't hear you. Oh. Way too loud. Ouch, Bill. <laughs> See? Finish this with a little flyby, I guess. <laughs> Marks the port of silver and arrowheads. And <laughs> Cops. Mm. I like I like those spoons a lot. They're pretty sweet. Mm.
Wish I had a little side light, but. Find, find of the, who knows, I'll never, never be able to top it. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> the flung front. Oh, nice pink, pink center. Oh yeah. <laughs> you didn't get chicken nuggets this time. So good. Chicken nuggets. What do I look like, Lincoln Leo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting it in. Getting it in. <laughs> Get him, Freddy! Get him, Freddy! Freddy, I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs>